The only thing I'm asking about is that area that the court said is not privileged, which is the relationship between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis. You've testified that during the time you represented Mr. Wade from 2018 on, that you only had one conversation with him in reference to the relationship between Ms. Willis and Mr. Wade. Is that correct? Yeah, I think that's fair, Larry. Yes. Okay, so out of the entire time, we're talking about could be 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. When did you stop representing um, Mr. Wade? It was a few months after I left the firm. All right, give me a, the approximate um, time. I left maybe um, June, July of 2022, maybe. Okay, so that would suggest that for, assuming it's 2018, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and half of 2022, which is in the vicinity of four to four and a half years, you're testifying under oath you had one conversation about a relationship between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis. Is that correct? I don't recall having any other conversation with Mr. Wade about him and Ms. Willis. Is it your testimony then that you don't remember any other conversation or there wasn't any other conversation besides the one? I'm going to object to ask the answer. I think he's drilling down. I think it's a fair question overall. I don't recall. Um, I would say it was the one, but I, I don't recall. You testified that you did have communications with Mr. Wade about him visiting with Ms. Willis at a condo or apartment, correct? I don't think I testified that I had a conversation. I testified that any knowledge that I would have known anything about any condo would have come from that, but I don't recall a conversation about that. I, I do not recall a conversation about that. 